Hi, I'm Dr. Christine Fisher, and today I'd like to talk to you about what is inside of the breast implants that we place inside of our bodies. Today I'll focus on one manufacturer, that is Allergan, and Allergan has three current formulas for the contents of the breast implant. Breast implant gel is not a liquid like it used to be in the um, decades ago, the implants were filled with a liquid that if you cut that implant, it would run out just like a liquid cooking oil. But today's implants are filled with a gel, and the gel can be a soft or gooey gel, um, very liquidy but still cohesive, or it can be all the way along the spectrum to very thick or dense gel like a gummy bear. So I thought we should look inside to see exactly what it is that we're putting inside of our bodies. Let's take a look. Um, this implant is the gooeyest of the implants. It's the softest. Now my concern about it is that this outer shell, if you cut into it or if it cracks inside the body 10 or 20 years from now, that it might actually be quite a mess inside of the breast pocket because you see your body will make a pocket of scar called a capsule around that breast implant. Uh, but over time, as your body moves and your arms move, that shell may wear out, creating a crack, and that's called an implant leak or an implant rupture. And so if this implant eventually cracks, what will it be? So let's take a look at that. Okay, and you can see that this Inspira implant is very gooey and very messy, okay? Um, I love how soft these implants are inside of the tissue under the skin. Um, it feels so natural. If you roll over on it, it feels soft. But if this outer shell cracks, these implants are quite a mess. So this is not what I recommend for patients because the gooey mess in the future might be very difficult to clean up for uh, your plastic surgeon. So let's talk about the most cohesive implant. The most cohesive implant is the 410, and that's what they call the gummy bear implant. Uh, this implant is very very dense. Um, it minimally wrinkles. You can see if I pick it up by the corner or if you imagined it under thin skin, it really doesn't develop wrinkles or folds because it has quite a bit of density just like a gummy bear does. So let's take a look at it. And we'll use this handmade wedge knife. And you can see that this implant is very cohesive, very much like a gummy bear. If you cut it into pieces, uh, the pieces are separate. Uh, the material stays to itself and doesn't uh, stick or goo or run. It's not a liquid. It's very much a solid. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that back together. So in the future, if this implant cracked inside of your tissues, the material inside the implant does not run or make a mess inside of the breast implant pocket and that's a real benefit of this but they are a little bit firmer so my preference for a cosmetic patient would be the soft touch now this soft touch is a cohesive implant which is somewhat cohesive meaning somewhat solid but also maintains quite a bit of softness I think this is the best of both worlds between the cohesive reconstructive implant and the very soft gel implant. Um, and this is my recommendation for patients having a cosmetic augmentation. So you can see that the cohesive cosmetic implant is very much um, a solid, a soft solid, like a warm gummy bear. It maintains its um, shape, it sticks to itself, um, it doesn't make a mess on the surfaces in which it sticks, and you're able to put it back together. So you can see that, that over time, if the outer shell fractured, that this implant uh, would not leak or run into your uh, surrounding tissues, and this would be a bit easier for your cosmetic surgeon uh, to clean. Thank you for letting me share with you a little bit more information about what's inside of your cosmetic implants and reconstructive implants, um, what the different kinds of silicone are, and what they look like when we open the implants.